Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, very short clip today. We're going to react to Gavin McInnes on the Joe Rogan Show. For people that are not familiar with Gavin McInnes, Gavin Miles McInnes is a Canadian writer, podcaster, far-right commentator, and the founder of the so-called Proud Boys. The Proud Boys are an American far-right organization. He's been banned from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for alleged hate speech and promoting violence. Those are his credentials, if you will. But to be totally honest, I don't really care for it. The only reason why I react to this video in the first place is because the guy talks about Islam, but moreover, because he laughs as a Christian. And this is what those far-right people do nowadays. First and foremost, they identify with their political ideology, but still they claim to be Christians. Yeah, well, Jesus was not an Anglo-Saxon. Jesus was not white. And surely Jesus had no political motivation. Quite the opposite. He said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And this is ultimately why Christianity is not as successful as Islam is. Because if you are a Muslim, you are a Muslim first. You don't identify as a liberal Muslim, a conservative Muslim. You are a Muslim first. Political ideas are secondary. But in the West, politics come first, of course. You are leftist, you are right-wing and whatnot. Then after that, you have the Christian identification, which is nothing but cultural. It has no depth, no theological depth, no spiritual depth at all. No Christian truly nowadays tries to defend the Trinity, tries to talk about the differences within the theology of Christianity and Islam. Quite the opposite. The Christians just defend their culture, their heritage, their skin color. It is all about race. It is all about nationalism. It has nothing to do with Christianity. Christianity is just a front for separation between Muslims and Christians. Anyways, I'm sure we're going to get into it during this video. Before we jump into it, however, if you enjoy my work, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. But I don't think that other cultures are different. I think they're worse. And Islam is 500 years behind us. We were shitty. We had witch hunts. Inquisition. We had the Inquisition. They're doing, they're not caught up to us yet. They're not as advanced. And I think two big problems with them as far as progr progress goes is the Quran is an exceptionally violent book. It doesn't have a 2.0 the way Christians do. And no one ever talks about this, but they have a major problem with inbreeding. They are marrying their first cousins again and again and again. And that makes your evolution go backwards. Is this true? Where yes. are you getting that from? I never, I never heard that before. I think it's called. Muhammad said it's okay to marry your first cousin. For real? And you do that once or twice, it's pretty bad. And you do it for 40 generations, and now you're going back in time. Look at Iran in 1965. Mini skirts, woman doing chemistry with test tubes, driving around. Hi, you want to go to the go-go hop later? <laughs> And now just garbage bags. Yeah, nothing to see here. Classical Kufar opinion, classical Western white colonial mindset. I don't think that other cultures are different. No, they're not different at all. Asians, Africans, they're not different. They're just worse. Very, very simple, right? The white culture is so progressive, so amazing. We are just further ahead. Haven't you seen Iran before the revolution? Mini skirts, mini skirts, so evolved, so much ethically, morally superior to any other culture, is it not? So by that standard, if you truly reflect upon it, 
mini skirts are the standard for progressivism and for what is good, apparently. So if we go back in time, just 40, 50 years approximately, back in those days, it was promiscuous women, working women, such as prostitutes, that were wearing mini skirts. Nowadays, we progressed so fast that almost every woman in the West is wearing mini skirts. But back in the day, the pioneers of evolution were, of course, the prostitutes. So by your standard, prostitutes are the most evolved people on this planet and nowadays in our society it must be the only fans girls those are again the pioneers of evolution the pioneers of ethics and morals and what is right and what is wrong the modern day prophets are the only fans girls don't you see this is the golden standard of the west take off your clothes just like us then you are evolved hey let's go to the ihop later <laughs> and then he talks about inbreeding as an Anglo-Saxon as if that never happened in England, right? There was no inbreeding at all whatsoever. There was no inbreeding within the royal families either, right? This is exclusive to the Muslim world. White people never inbred. And moreover, this is again so laughable because he laughs as a Christian but mentions then evolution. You, of course, cannot be a true Christian if you believe in evolution, but nevertheless, he says, scientifically, if you have sex with your cousin, you go backwards. Does that apply only to humans? I really wonder, evolutionary speaking, we are just animals, so therefore it must apply to other animals as well, I assume, right? Let's just take chickens and let them have sex with their chicken cousins. If we do that over and over and over and over again, we will end up at T-Rex. <coughs> And then the audacity to talk about Islam being 500 years backwards, even though Islam was flourishing 1,000 years ago, the Islamic Golden Age, of course. During that time, the Europeans didn't know how to wash themselves. They were dying of diseases due to their filthy lifestyles. They were still worshipping all kinds of pagan gods and were sacrificing their own children to those deities. But yet again, the real issue here is the comparison between Christianity and Islam, which is absolutely laughable. You're not comparing Christianity to Islam. You are comparing liberalism to Islam. Christianity is already dead in the West. Why? Because you secularized and because nobody truly identifies with Christianity first. You identify, as I said already, culturally as a Christian. You like to celebrate Eastern, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of those things, then infused with a little bit of Halloween, sprinkle some more pagan holidays into the already pagan ideology of Christianity. This is what you do. You do not care about theology. You do not care about Christianity. You're comparing Islam yet again to progressive liberalism. And of course, Islam will not progress like liberalism does. Of course not. Islam has been revealed as a perfect theology. This is truly what we believe. I know that you do not believe it, but this is our firm belief. And this is why we do not reinvent certain doctrines and add something to Islam. We believe in Islam as revelation, as the perfect revelation from God, and this is why we do not change it. And you can get angry about it, outraged about it, call us savages. It won't change. You talk about Christians, they got the 2.0, ha 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 ha, in the same breath then saying, of course, that Jews must be primitive as well, because they didn't get the update, right? They didn't get the update that their God all of a sudden is a human. Moreover, with your so-called update, you of course neglect everything that came prior to you, the Mosaic Law, Deuteronomy, etc., etc. You do not want to talk about it anymore. You see it as savagery. But in the same breath, Christians, real Christians, will of course say that that came from God. So all the violence that you can find within the Old Testament came from God. Why discard it now? Did God change his mind all of a sudden? And moreover, speaking about violence, you're talking about the Quran being the most violent book. Just compare it to the Bible. Okay, so what if I told you this? That this is actually the Bible? Oh, shit! What? Oh, what? Oh, That's the no. Bible? Yeah. Wait, I never learned about wait, that. You, you never learned about that church school? Right? This is actually the Bible. Wow. Son of a gun. I would tell you, though, this is the Bible, actually. Have a nice day. What if I told you this was the Bible, not the Quran? 
Well, I haven't got time now. We got to take off. There is absolutely no comparison. The Bible is filled with absolutely abhorrent violence. It talks about killing the firstborn sons, smashing babies onto rocks and what not. There is absolutely nothing like it in the Quran. The Quran discusses warfare, of course, but within Islam, you have a conduct of morals and ethics for war even. Show me anything like it within Christianity. Of course, you can not. Ultimately, yet again, this is not a comparison between Christianity and Islam. This guy is a liberal. He might call himself a libertarian, but the value set is the same. There is no church, there is no religious institution that is higher than the state first and foremost, and that state must adhere to liberal values. I want to do what I want to do, and you can't do anything about it. As long as I don't hurt you, it's a okay. But there is no moral depth to it whatsoever. It is those guys that always talk about, hey, let's return to the good old days. What are the good Good old days, the 80s, the 90s. What are you talking about, man? This project of America has been in a steady decline for the past decades, don't you see? Since you adopted liberal values, since you discarded religion, you are in a steady downfall. All of your problems that you see within the West are rooted within liberalism, but you fail to understand that. It's absolutely fantastic when women can wear mini skirts, but at the same time, you will probably talk about how degenerative rap culture is, right? probably because it is black, but oh, twerking bad, right? Oh, look at those ladies. This is absolutely immoral. It is such a disgusting double standard. It doesn't make sense whatsoever. You have to draw the line somewhere. Mini skirts are okay. OnlyFans is not okay. Why? Having girlfriends and boyfriends dating promiscuous sex before marriage is okay, but covering up is bad. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. It always boils down to the same BS. White culture is better because it is better. Yes, we are the most naked ones. We are the ones that consume the most alcohol. We're the most promiscuous ones. Our divorce rates are absolutely the highest on the planet. Depression is shooting up. Suicide rates are shooting up. We're worshiping our desires. Come join us. Your ideology promotes promiscuity, consumption of drugs, and with that, broken homes, broken families, and weak men. And this is why your ideology cannot stand, because it goes against human nature and it goes against God's law. And this is why Islam will always reign supreme. You are just like the Roman Empire falling, not realizing it, because your bellies are full, given bread and circuses. This is what is happening in America at the moment. Watch the Super Bowl, watch the UFC, eat the biggest burgers and what not. Consume the last product and do not care about God. There is no God. We worship science. We worship ourselves. This is a guarantee for you to fall. I'm going to sit back, relax, and watch it burn. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.